everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you were watching this video, then you picked the sushi candle for your trash panda treasure box. All right, let's see what we got in our box. You should have two and a half strips of kind of the light beeswax. Uh, there is a wick there for you. I'm going to put that up there. A blue green piece and three smaller pieces, yellow, green and red. We are going to start out with the smaller pieces. I'm gonna start with red. I'm gonna warm it up in my hands just enough so that it bends and doesn't break. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna start curling it into kind of a roll shape. And once you get it started, you can kind of lay it flat and it should roll up pretty quick, pretty clean. Just make sure to keep those edges even. We are going to do the exact same thing with the yellow beeswax. Soften it up a little bit and then start with that kind of tight roll to make a cylinder. Get that on the table to keep those edges nice and even. Two down, one to go. We're going to do the same thing with that green. Which there we go. And when you stand all those up, this is how they're going to be in the middle of the candle. And in the middle of all of those is where we're going to put our wick. So go ahead and set it in between and just kind of add the third roll over the top of it and just kind of squeeze them together a little bit. You don't have to use a lot of strength. You just need enough so that that beeswax is going to kind of start to stick together. Then we're going to bring in our white beeswax, which is going to kind of represent the rice in our sushi candle. Make sure all those edges are even, and then you can start to roll that around as well. And just go slow. Um, your hands are naturally warm, so that's going to help the beeswax kind of start to take on a different shape and to adhere to the other beeswax that's around it. And again, you just kind of want to make sure that you're keeping those edges even. Keep your sushi roll nice and neat. And we're going to go around with all three pieces of that white beeswax. When one ends, we're just going to start right where it leaves off with the next piece. And then the final piece is going to be adding that blue-green strip of seaweed looking beeswax to finish off your sushi roll. I'm going to start right where my rice sushi ended. Keep those edges even. And we're going to wrap around. It's going to be up to you because there's a little more than a single roll but not quite two in there. So you can just break it off and make it as rolled as you want. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you enjoyed this month's sort of Japanese theme that we had going on. A couple quick things. We are about to start our summer reading extravaganza at the Rapid City Public Library. Um, so next time you're in or check online our website uh, and you can see what offerings we have for kids, for teens, and for adults. We are going to have weekly drawings for teens and adults. There's going to be a scavenger hunt, one for teens and one for kids. So maybe take a look and see if that's something that you're interested in. One final note for you guys, you may have seen the very small blue note that was in your box. Because we've gotten so many subscriptions, uh, I can't keep up with all of them. Um, so we're going to have to cap each monthly offering at 75. So if what we're offering for next month looks really good to you, get your subscription in sooner rather than later. Um, if you perchance end up on the waiting list, please go ahead and sign up because if we have boxes that aren't picked up or I happen to have extra supplies, I will definitely put boxes together for you guys. Also, it says that there's a new way to sign up, which is true on our website. If you go to events, you can follow that through to find trash, pa trash panda treasure boxes and sign up online. But you can also still sign up the way that you've been signing up all of these months regularly. So we're just trying to get more options out there to you guys. So thank you again. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.